What belief or opinion will you defend to the death? The belief that beliefs and opinions should be changed or modified, based on newly learned information over time. Littering. There's no excuse for it. Pick your shit up. No one knows what the fuck is happening. That the current duopoly in American politics is bad for the American people. The ideology that there are only two choices for a personal belief system is a lie that keeps those in power that push it. Mental health is just as important as physical health. I know that's a given, but I don't think as a society we are understanding how important this is. That when you put toilet paper on the roll, it goes this way, not that way. Monsters. Saturday morning cartoons were better than iPhones. Cropping dog's ears just for looks, and declawing cats is absolutely barbaric and damp, should be illegal and damp, considered animal abuse everywhere. My country should never be part of Russia again. Grandpa Joe was a lazy lying asshole. Charlie and his mother should have thrown his ass out when he jumped up from that bed. Stupid people have more children than smart people and it's catching up. It's okay to not be okay. Crying isn't a sign of weakness and everyone has feelings. The Oxford comma is necessary. That it's more important to understand how the world actually is than to feel good. I want the truth. Good damn it. Not some feel good nonsense. Ideally. I'd like both. But if I had to choose just one, I'd choose the truth. Use your blinker, move your finger, and make the road safer and more efficient. The earth is flat. Just kidding I'm not a moron. Epstein was murdered. It's couldn't care less not could care less. When you tear out a man's tongue, you are not proving him liar. You're only telling the world that you fear what he might say. Trying to silence someone that you disagree with doesn't make a person change their mind. It usually has the opposite effect. Everyone is a sensitive fuck. Me included. And it sucks to deal with. Poor people deserve healthcare and to be housed too. People from hundreds of years ago are not smarter than most people today. Never trust a fart. Spending like 40% of your waking hours being forced to do menial tasks for some corporation that cannot love you back to afford basic necessities and doing this for several decades before you have a couple decades to enjoy your life except now you're too weak and frail to do fun things is all the way fucked up. Video games are art. College shouldn't be the best years of your life, because then you are just expecting life to suck afterwards. That all humans are equal, and deserving of basic rights. Celsius is fundamentally a much better system of measuring temperature than Fahrenheit. And Kelvin is the best, but not that useful in everyday situations. Edit, not sure why I thought F was based off cows. It's still a dumb system though. Just less dumb than I was taught. Finn was done dirty to make Rhea look better. Homeopathy and alternative medicine not only sucks, but is predatory and dangerously. Hollywood is run by sexual predators. That tourist resorts have ruined tourism. Censorship is bad. German is not an ugly language it's actually quite pretty. Most people just associate it with the speeches of a particular unsavory historical figure. That the US needs to encourage and provide trade education more in high school. Bring back shop class, home ec, and the arts. Not every kid is college bound and should have to go through four years of unnecessary academics. 
I teach high school English. The kids really don't need four years of English in. People are allowed to like things, believe things, and live in ways that you don't. You don't like dogs, you're a horrible person. Okay, moving on. You all are focused on the dog too much. It was just an example. Just because I don't like something, anything, you do doesn't mean I'm a shit human. You can still think of me as such but that's where it stops. You can voice your opinion. I can say I disagree. And that's all that has to happen. The old agree to disagree ideology seems to have disappeared. That women should have the rights to their uterus. You can believe in God, while condemn organized churches, and tell evangelists belong in hell. Not all parents love their children. Luckily for society, most parents do love their kids, and do a good enough job of raising them. But some are abusive. And when the kids of good enough parents tell the kids of abusive parents they should reconcile with their parents, because that's your mom, or that's your dad, I get the urge to tell them just a tiny fraction of the hell I endured as a child, and ask if they still feel that way. But I don't do that, because I don't want to give them nightmares. How can people who haven't lived my life feel entitled to tell me I should keep being in a relationship with my abusers? Who the F says that to a battered wife? Or to a bullied child? No one. Who the F says that to an adult who was abused by their parents? Everyone. Nickelback don't deserve the hate they get. The mainstream media and the entire American government, no matter which side, party, or ideology they claim to support, is pushing us towards a horrible dystopia and there is little we can do to stop it because they are too good at making us fight each other. White people with dreadlocks will always look goofy. It, I can see that I've upset all the white people how lol. That's the jealousy. Y'all wish y'all could look as good as us with dreads. Sucks to be y'all. And y'all talking about racism when y'all don't even know what racism is. White people love throwing around that racist word when y'all get called out. It's pathetic. Adults should never hit kids. Intelligent alien life forms exist, and I think there are many. Space is way too big for them not to. I just don't think we are advanced enough of a species to find and communicate with them. But they know about us. Having sex doesn't mean you love someone. You can have sex, but only do it cause it feels good. The cuteness of children is an evolutionary advantage and is necessary for the propagation of our species. Computers feel more eco-friendly than book publishing. Android is better than iPhone. I've had both, and I've made my decision. Just because you think your opinion is the only correct opinion, doesn't mean it's the only correct opinion. My family deserves to live. Sunny D is not orange juice. Pineapple absolutely goes on pizza. I understand why you might not like it. And you don't have to eat it. So please. Stop harassing US for liking food. Will you? Everyone is entitled to food. Shelter. Water. Basic medical care. And empathy. These things should be free in a society that has the ways and means to do so. Greed is a shitty excuse to condemn people to suffering. I'm well off now, but I've been homeless. I've gone without food for extended periods of time. You don't know who you are until you haven't eaten for four days. No one should ever have to go through that. Ever. We should be looking after one another and cultivating a society of empathy and compassion. Not greed and indifference. Never gonna happen though. We can still strive to try and do what we are able despite the times. Epstein didn't kill himself. If the death penalty has to exist, people who commit sexual crimes against slash involving children should be eligible for it. If you have to constantly tell people you're a nice person, you probably aren't as nice as you think you are. 
TikTok is cringe. I seriously think the way politics are approached in the USA is a huge issue. Currently we have politicians literally name calling each other their followers are instigating fights with each other both verbally and physically. This is happening on both sides of the aisle. It's not just one group. When did the adults stop running the country? I don't fucking care if you believe in the virus or not. Stay the fuck away from me. Global warming is real. Since the 1800s, pre-industrial period, human activities have been the main driver of climate change. Primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels. The value of a human life has nothing to do with how intelligent a person is, or whether they contribute financially to society. The lives of my students, many of whom are profoundly disabled, and will not be able to work, are worth exactly as much as yours. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future, subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.